You're watching Chewing the Cud. <laughs> With Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. I just sat there watching his empty sack on the floor. Nice. Mm. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. How are you doing, Lee? I'm, f I'm, I'm feeling a bit understated. Understated? Yeah, I don't this know what it like is, it. though. This is very... Very, I don't feel know. a bit down, feel a bit dressed down. Yeah, you don't look like I'm, I'm knocking back the sherry. Yeah, I know, I can oh. tell, because I've been smelling it when you walked in. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. What merriment and mirth have you got in store for us this week on the show, Bisley? Well, because it's Christmas. Yeah. It's Christmas themed. It's Christmas. So we've got some news about a very, very loved Christmas franchise <gasps> films. Oh. We've got some um, information about a musical collaboration. Mm -hmm. And we've got a drag queen who's kicking off about her Christmas baubles. What more could you want? On screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us, thecud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing The Could and hit subscribe. And as all the people dash through the snow on a one-horse open thingy-majig, we go over to Mike and the buzz. <laughs> Going slightly different with the buzz this week because it's Christmas. Yeah. And what's the most important thing about Christmas? Presents. Even more important than presents. Food. Food. Yay. Because we're being encouraged to, like, to ditch meat. How's that going for you, babes? <laughs> well, when you say ditch meat, as in eating meat. Okay. And when I say like, eat well... meat, I mean like cooking food. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so there's a range of vegan alternatives. Ooh. Ooh. I thought we'd give them a bit of a try. We have to. Not have to, but yeah. We're going to. We're going we? to, yeah. Okay. Should I whip my cloche out? It's not stopped you before. Is it not going to stop me this time? It's not going to stop you this time. Would you would you like um would you like a plate? Oh, have you got plates? We oh, yeah, are down here underneath Ooh, the uh, Aren't you helpful? Underneath my um Underneath yourself. Underneath myself. Okay. Oh now look at this. That looks beautiful. A veritable cavalcade of gorgeousness. A meaty, not so meaty treats. Well, it's not so meaty, exactly. So we've got some um, non-meat pork belly. Mm. Okay. Some non-prawn prawns. Okay. Tempura. Uh, tempura. Tempura. Yes. And then some um, vegan and sausage. Vegan and sausage. Vegan cheese and vegan sausage on a stick. Oh, okay. Dry. Looks very well. Vegan food is dry. So would you like to take yourself a sample? Okay. Uh, okay. Which should we go in for first? Let's, go... let's go for the pork that's not pork. What is it made out of? Um, not pork. Not pork. I have a feeling this is the one that's made out of dragon fruit. Oh. What's dragon fruit? Dragon. It, it's that's not vegan. You have to kill a dragon for dragon fruit. So the, it doesn't smell bad. I, I don't. The studio fly is loving this. It is. <laughs> it's like when I want fly around. <laughs> yeah. So this is supposed to represent pork, pork fat. Pork belly. Yeah. It's not something I would eat anyway. You not eat pork belly. No. Okay, I'm gonna do I just shall I just shove it in? Shove it in. Shove it in, chew. And swallow. Oh, that's a taste sensation. I can tell from your face. That's gorgeousness. Oh. I want to spit it out. You can't spit it out, it's Christmas. I want to. No, don't. I am going to have a go of it. No. Granted, it's cold. No. Do you think heat would have improved? Fire from the depths of hell. To be fair, the first couple of mouthfuls, no. didn't, I didn't mind it. Barbecue it was. And then no. the cold, squishy, ick. Mm, no. Tin. no. So that it's a texturally no. is wrong. Do you know what it needs? Have we got any sauce? Oh, I think we have got some sauce. We've got some sauce. Some sauce. Yeah. Do you want me to hold sauce. that? Yeah, that'd be helpful. Thank you. I'll check in my little cupboard. Oh, we do. Oh, I say. Oh, I've just slammed my lights in the flap. So we've got Brussels sprouts ketchup. Mm, nice. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Or spiced cranberry ketchup. Uh, do you know, I think... I think you need to go with the Brussels sprouts. I do. I think yeah. so. If you, if we're going to go in for the the whole hog, now this I, I'm assuming this isn't vegan. But it must be vegan because it's made out of well, Brussels sprouts. Sprouts, sugar, water, salt, garlic, salt, vinegar, onion, human flesh. 
Uh, and stuff. Uh -huh. Baby's Tears. Oh, okay. Um, no, it doesn't contain Baby's Tears. Um, it doesn't say it's vegan, but it doesn't say it's, it's not. It's not. Does it not have it? Oh, there we there go. There we go. I just needed to be a bit forceful. It's got a very unique aroma. Does it? Can I have a whiff? Oh. Not at the moment. Put it next to your half-chewed fake pork belly fat. <laughs> oh, it's a thick, it's a thick sauce. It's got, a consistency. It, it's got a consistency. I'm just going to just... just I'll just say stick your finger in there, Pops. Pops. <laughs> Pops. It's less of a sauce, more of a chutney. Ooh. I, I've wiped that off baby's <laughs> before that. Look at that. Um, yeah, so the, I'll, I'll swap, I'll swap. Actually, just pop this down. That has not got a nice aroma. It's not, no, it's very unique. That is, that, that, that is, <laughs> that is pickly. It is pickly, you can definitely tell it's got sprout in it. I think, I think that's probably <laughs> about enough for me. I'm going to, I'm going to have to dip something in it. I don't think I can go, go. Just stick your finger in it and give it a taste. Mm. Not bad, actually. Right, okay. Don't mind that. Or oh, the cranberry. The cranberry's got a, is a bit looser. Oh, cranberry's a bit. It's looser. a little bit pickle-ish. Oh, I like pickle -ish. I'll just have a dab of me. Are you not keen? It's got a bit of a. You know when you drink dandelion and burdock, and it tastes a little bit like dirt. <laughs> No, but yeah, yeah. Nang, 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 nang. <laughs> now that looks more. That's fun. vinegary. That looks more fun, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> God, that, that is not good. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, feed that to your newborn baby on Christmas Day. Laughs all round. Um, <laughs> I. A social service is going to take it away. I, I'm going to go. I would say that the um, Brussels sprout one is nicer than the cranberry. You see, I, pr I prefer the, the taste of the, the cranberry one mm -hmm. after you get over the, the it's punched you in the face of vinegar. No, it's got a nasty aftertaste. No, I can prefer that aftertaste. Like into the after it's back of my throat. No, I'm all right with that. And what are we going to try next then? We, let's, let's go for the let's go for the tempura. The tempura that is not prawn. Not prawn. It's made out of um, sorry seaweed or something like see, that. I like deep fried seaweed. So okay. Is it prawny in the middle? Does it look like a prawn? Does it need a little dip in your... I think what this needs... your chutney? <laughs> is a nice little bit of prawn going through it. Oh, yeah. That fresh fresh caught. You know what? That's not offensive. That's not offensive. Okay, right, I'm going to try. Again, okay, I'm not angry at it. I mean, I wouldn't go out and buy them on purpose, but... I, I don't want to spit it out. No. I want to dip it in that green baby crap. I want to put it in my mouth. And has that enhanced your experience? That's nice. Uh -huh. Your face doesn't say it's nice. Your face is going, I want to spit this out right now. No, that's nice. Okay. Takes a while to go down the gullet. <laughs> There's a lot of chewing involved. There is, yeah. A lot of chewing involved. There's not a lot of moisture. Okay, so we've got one last one, which is the sausage and cheese. So this is... On a stick, so it's vegan. This is your typical Christmas sausage on a stick. With, but it's it's vegan. Uh, you go first. You have a, you tuck into it. Oh, it squeaks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's squeaking in my mouth and it's echoing through my ear. <laughs> I don't get vegan sausages. They never do it for me. Always a bit nick. I know I don't. I know I don't like vegan cheese. There's a lot of salt in vegan food, isn't there? There's a lot of salt. There's a lot of salt. That's just dried my mouth out. I think, you know, well done to the supermarkets for attempting to recreate something. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, uh, but unfortunately for me... I'm not a vegan, so I don't have to eat it. No. It's my, um, it's my honest thing. Let's just pot it on the floor, because nobody wants it. Nobody wants that. Yum. <laughs> Come on, boy. Dog even doesn't want any. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um... And if, if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube, we're under Chewing the Cud. And we're going to briefly touch on our story of the week. Ooh. Only the one this week. Okay. And that's about uh, Father Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. But in Norway, they've released an advert with, which has caused ripples. Ripples? Ripples. Of pleasure. Of, of pleasure. 
of pleasure indeed. Uh-huh. As they've um, introduced and released the fact that Father Christmas has a boyfriend. <laughs> so, without giving away too many spoilers, um, gentleman sees Father Christmas coming down his chimney every, every Christmas Eve. Right, but he does. Starts to spend time with him. Yeah, he does indeed. Right? And they start to have more and more time every year. Oh, well, they do. Mm-hmm. Till one year, Father Christmas doesn't arrive. Oh, it's like, oh no, I've been dumped. Is he dead? And it turned. No, it's just been dumped. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it just. It's the he's enlisted the postal service to help him so he can spend more time with his new partner, and it, it ends with a little bit of a kiss. Oh. And the internet when it's beautiful and it's wonderful and it's so sweet and it's so warming and it's so lovely. And it's to celebrate the fact that in Norway they've had 50 years of gay marriage this year. Oh, well, that's no, nice. 2020. Two. Mm. Yeah, no, oh, that's sweet. I, I have seen the, the, the clip. It goes mm. on for quite a while. Yeah. It's not a quick a commercial. No, but most Christmas adverts have a short version and a long version, yeah. don't they? Mm. So if you think, like, John Lewis, you have to sit down with a bottle bucket of popcorn and mm. big drink to get through. Yeah. Along with the Titanic. Yeah. He kind of brings him a present every year, doesn't he? Mm. That's what Father Christmas is paid to do. <laughs> it's in his job description. <laughs> exactly. You don't fall in love with a bartender when you bring your pint, actually. <laughs> but yeah, that's all from the buzz this week. Thanks for that, Mike. That was a lovely groin-warming story. That was a pleasure, as, uh, as always. But next we have Lee and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the Yuletide showbiz with Lee. It's Christmas! Christmas. What? <laughs> what makes... The f- I know, I don't know what? either. <laughs> what makes Christmas Christmas? Apart from the presents, apart from the food. Birth of baby Jesus. Birth of baby Jesus. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you're right there, Mike. You just killed, killed an angel there. Tiny angel. Um, so, Christmas films. Oh, yeah. Oh, we love yeah. a Christmas film. Home Alone. That's a franchise that, that's very Christmassy. <laughs> it is, it? Yeah. yeah. And do you know what? Did you, I didn't realise it's about 12 Home Alone films. I only remember Home Alone 1, the first one, with uh-huh. Macaulay Culkin. Or Home Alone, as it was known. Or Home Alone. Then Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, uh-huh. with, with Macaulay Culkin in. And Which... then as far as I was concerned, that was it. That was the end. But apparently... Was, uh, Home Alone 3, social services should have definitely been called by now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, it's just simply Home Alone 3. Um, we've got Home Alone 4, Taking Back the House, Home Alone, The Holiday Heist, Home... and then this one, Sweet H- Home Sweet Home Alone. Okay. Which has just been released on um, streaming services. It's the sixth film. We've got a picture of the, the thing. So it's not got Mac- Macaulay Culkin in it. No, because Macaulay Culkin is now an adult. Well, he could be, he could be like a grown-up. He could be like... Home a, Alone as an adult. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's the dream. Of yeah, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's all about Max Mercer, who's the kid in the picture. He's a 10-year-old boy who was accidentally left at home for the holidays when his family go on a trip to Japan in his policeman's outfit. He's He's, you know... He's grown. Yeah, so you can still see the resemblance. You can still see the resemblance, yeah. Um, I mean, that hairstyle is very 90s. Yeah, that he was he had on. You're such a disease, Kevin. That was his famous line, wasn't it? Don't know. Yeah. We've got a picture here of kind of like all the different films in the franchise. Okay. So, the first Home Alone, <laughs> Home Alone in New York, and then the other ones that I have now. They've all, I mean, they've all got a theme, haven't they, with the... Uh, with the, the... Child neglect. <laughs> so, if you, if you want to watch it... If it's on streaming services, it's on you've streaming, already paid yeah, for it. Just have a look and yeah. see. Um, the bottle of wine. Bottle of wine. Seven. Line of Coke. If you want to drink a, a line up of bottles of Coca-Cola, you go for it. You go for it. Yeah, but you'd be very unwell. Yeah, in the morning. Tommy Wans, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's a, that's, a, that's a kind of a recommendation for Christmas. The films. The films, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, next up, we've, so... RuPaul has kind of dominated this this year, hasn't she? Yeah. With the the drag race and the more drag race and, and the more, even drag, more race. drag race. And just in case you weren't aware, she's a drag queen, so she's, she'll do yeah. another drag race. Well, apparently she's not happy at the moment because an unauthorized holiday ornament of her as herself mm-hmm. of herself has gone onto the market, and okay. she hasn't authorized it, and she's not happy with it. So when it came, when people, she's not getting a cut of it, well, she's not getting a cut of it, yeah. and it does look pretty shonky. We've got a picture of it here. 
<laughs> that looks like she's done her own makeup. <laughs> so people on the internet have said that's when Rue, when mm -hmm. she hasn't done her, you know, she can do. It look, I think it looks a little bit like Beth Lynch um, from Coronation a Street bit. of years go by. So yeah, she's so basically what she did was she saw it, retweeted it, and said, simple message. Hashtag unauthorised crap, hashtag ruined Christmas. Then proceeded to show a picture of her authorised Christmas bauble, mm -hmm. which is basically just a gold version of her. Of her. Yeah. yeah. Um, one person who found this hilarious was Trixie Mattel, mm -hmm. who um, she she bought, she said, I've bought a dozen of them, I'm going to put them on my Christmas tree. And, and I took a photograph of herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but it's not, she's not the only celebrity that's had one of these unofficial unauthorised baubles. We've got some some on the, the screen here. Now, from left to right, some mm -hmm. perhaps might be a little bit more more easier to, to guess. So the, the lady with the plaits, who would you say? I thought that was going to be Boy George. Okay. Big hat, braided hair. It's Beyonce. Of course it is. Yeah. That's Beyonce. Mm -hmm. The gentleman in the middle, Uncle Frank? No. Uncle Frank? Just your regular Uncle Frank. Comes around Uncle every Frank. Christmas yeah. in his leather jacket and his shades. Um, Simon Cowell. It's not Simon Cowell. I can see where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. That is George Michael. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. A little bit tasteless because he kind of died around Christmas kinda time. Kind of died. Kind of died. Kind of died. Did die. Did die. Around yeah. Christmas time. <laughs> so, and then obviously, I, I would tell, the one at the end is Madonna. A startled Madonna. Right, okay. So, yeah, you can... You, it's too late to buy them now because Christmas is, is here. Get them for next year. You can get them for next year. They'll be year. cheaper now, won't they? They'll be in the bargain bin. Um, so, yeah. Do you have any celebrities on your Christmas tree? Random question. I, I don't have any celebrities on my Christmas tree. I like a tasteful tree. Do you? Yes. So you can't see any green. It's got to be covered in baubles and glitter. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks snow? Like... No, 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 because that's wrong. Okay. But basically, if a drag queen looks at it and goes, that's a bit much, then I add another layer on and it's done. A bit like my... No, that's Adornment. understated. It's compared, understated. Understated. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So before we go on to the last bit of the showbiz news, uh huh, it's present time because <gasps> it's Christmas. Would you like? Give me. You, you, give my, me, give me. Now, before I give it you, you have to. This is very, you have to treat this with the utter respect that it deserves. Okay. Because not only is it a Christmas present, it's you kind of it's 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 like a, a lifetime's responsibility. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's Eileen the Toffee Crisp. <laughs> it's Eileen the Toffee Crisp woman. So yes, um, for those people that haven't seen the episode, uh, we found a man who believed his wife had been turned into a Toffee Crisp. And she has, because we've got her here. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you very yeah. much for that. Got a bottle of, don't, don't, just, just, don't just fling her down on the table. I'm, I'm placing her down okay. gently. Okay, every Place now and again, gently. open the lid, get a bit of oxygen in there. Okay. It's fine. Toffee Crisp, need oxygen? Well, she's part human as well. Okay. Um, so... Santa Claus came and emptied his sack into my box. So Did he? let me just get a little, little something for you in here. Is it a, is it a, is it a heat blanket? That is a heat. That is oh. a thermal blanket. From because for people that, so if you're ever in shock, you might need a thermal blanket. So because of the present inside is such good quality, oh, you may go into shock. I'm going to turn this into an outfit. I can imagine. You want it back? No, no. That's part of the gift. There's a lot. There's a lot of. There's a lot of heated blanket here. A lot of heated blanket here. Yeah. <laughs> I will keep going. The photograph frame. <laughs> it is a photograph frame. There's a photo of me in it. It's a photo of Mike in the studio. Yeah. Now you need to treasure that as much as I'll treasure your stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I will do. Um, I've got a toilet roll that can sit in front of that. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Santa. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for that, Santa. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, Eileen will live on our shelf. One of our shelves. Don't eat her. Don't eat her! Give it, if you're going to do that, give me back. Give it me back. If you're going to eat it, give it me back. If you eat it, I'll hurt you. If you eat it, I'll burn that and you'll feel it. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> Last bit of showbiz news. <sighs> Just put it down. Just put it down on the table, Mike. Put it down on the table. No, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. I'll pop it. Just pop, pop it down. Just pop there. it there. Pop it there. Pop it there. Um, so... 
Christmas mm -hmm. music. Uh -huh. There's always a, a race for Christmas from number one. There is indeed. I haven't been a fan of, of these people that have been at number one the past three years. Lad Baby. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so if people don't know who Lad Baby are... Lucky you. Lucky you. They're, they're a couple who do these hilarious skits on songs, mainly about sausage rolls. Um, we've got a picture of them here on the screen. They look wacky kids, don't they? Yeah. Ooh, look at us. Look at us sausage roll onesies. Ooh. Um, anyway, they, I mean, to be fair, I'd rather have them at number one than some of Simon Cowell's hideous kind mm. of manufactured guff. Anyway, um, just thought it might make my feelings clear on that. At least they give them charity, don't they? Yeah. Lad baby do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Ed Sheeran and Elton John, mm. Sir Elton John, they have teamed up with Lad Baby to star in their new video for Christmas. Um, and they're, they've dressed up as, as flaky sausage rolls. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're, they're going head to head in the charts. They're, they've got their own single out. Mm -hmm. um, but they're, as a spirit of Christmas and giving, um, they, they've agreed to star in the video and dress up as flaky sausage rolls. We've got This is not them dressed as flaky sausage rolls. This is them dressed... Well, Ed's dressed as Mrs. Christmas and... Um, oh, he's, he's got his legs out. Yeah. And I quite appreciate his legs. Mm, Elton John's dressed as your nan. And um, they're having a, a knees up around the, the, the Christmas tree, which um, that comes out... It's out now and it's probably at number one because it's Christmas. Yeah, but we're not going to check, are we? We're not going to check because we don't really care that yeah. much. So, yeah. Too busy eating vegan food. Yeah, and the, all the salt that goes with it. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that is the end of the, of the showbiz news. Who knows what next year will bring? More showbiz news. Hopefully. Unless Hopefully, unless they all die, <laughs> which who knows? Thank you, Lee. Um, I especially like the, the thought that um, Eileen wants me to eat her. She doesn't. Stick around because coming up, we've got our Christmas game of the week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week, we have dusted off an old favourite, and I don't mean Lee we're playing a festive version of Show Us Your Draws. And this one is for Chris Kringle himself. So off you go. Don't make me hear you. Game of the Week. All Lee needs to do is draw what he has on his card. Sounds simple, but it causes more arguments than a family drunken monopoly. So much so, if he angers me, I'll kill Santa. Are you ready, Lee? Ready? I don't care about Santa. If you eat Veronica, it's not even called Veronica. Eileen. Eileen. Um, there will be trouble. Eileen. Not Veronica. Eileen. Eileen. Come Eileen, on, Veronica. Eileen. Get in my mouth, please. Do -do -do -do. Are you ready? Eileen. Uh, yes. Okay, so I, I'm going to draw. Uh, all right, okay. Okay. This is a little bit difficult because I've got to kind of lean. You've got to draw, yeah. Okay. Okay. Holly. Pardon? Holly. No, it's it's the holly is part of the whole thing. Holly is part of the whole thing. The holly and the ivy. No, it's this is something. Okay, traditional. Spotted dick. No. You're just being silly. Spotty. Traditionally, we, we consume this on Christmas Day. Ooh. And some people do that, do that to them. Some people draw yellow things on top of them. No, oh, what, what is the... What, what is the... Yellow things. But sometimes, if it's got... If it's got alcohol in it... You're drinking it. It might have a blue flame type thing. Christmas pudding? It is a Christmas pudding, but what is it? Huh? What is it? Christmas pudding. Christmas pudding, but what's happening to it? Being served. <sighs> what are these, Mike? Yellow things. Oh, for once, you would have just thought on Christmas. You would have just pulled it together and done it properly. Is Christmas pudding on fire? Oh. God damn it. All my Christmas cheer's gone now. Right, next one. 
Okay. All your Christmas cheer's gone. <laughs> okay, right. So. <clears throat> That's um, teabagging. No. What happens when it gets very cold sometimes? My tickles shrink and go up inside me. Mm. Well, what happens outside? The policeman goes, so your tickles have shrunk and gone up inside you. Mm -hmm. Thinking more of weather related. Oh, oh, oh I've got this because it's yellow on it. People peeing in the snow. Mmm. Yeah, but there's a, there's a saying, isn't there? Don't the where you eat. That is a given. Um, That's a saying. Yeah, but th you but this is this is kind of more. Um, no people allowed. Something to do with yellow snow, Mike. Oh, lemon snow. Lemon snow is delicious. I encourage everybody to eat lemon snow. You'll know it's lemon snow because it's yellow. <laughs> I'm going to move on for him. Let's never eat yellow snow. Viewers. Mm. Okay, so I think. Uh, we three kings of Orienta. No. Famous landmark in a specific place. Blackpool Tower. No. Why is that king smoking a massive joint? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not. Are you sure? It looks like a newbie to me. Okay. Um, so, very famous place, city. Uh huh. And then. With something with f three feet on one leg. It's. <laughs> You've got three feet on one leg. It's toes. You've got three toes on one foot. That doesn't make it right. <laughs> Concentrate on the, concentrate on the image. So what's what is this here? It's a fairy. Yes, fairy. So we've got okay. fairy. Okay. Fa very famous city in in America. Washington. Sometimes referred to as the Big Apple. L.A. I'm going to hurt you. Um, <laughs> it's a song. It's a famous song. Very controversial. Every year we have the same debate. Should we sing it? Should we not sing it? Let's get high to see fairies. Do you know where I can get a refund on Mike? It's not Mike. Do you want to give us? Do you want to give a sensible answer? Right, you've drawn me a fairy. Yes. And someone getting stoned wearing a, a, a crown. No, that isn't what it is, is it? Now stop being silly, or you'll go. Or you'll go stop to bed being, early. Look at look at this, look at this image. It's a Statue of Liberty, you absolute Says the man that's got the flame in the wrong hand for the Statue of Liberty, and she doesn't sold it like she's about to smoke it. It's upright. Are, are we giving Three up on this on. one? Are you giving yeah, up? I'm giving up on it. It's the fairy tale of New York. Oh, obviously. Fairy, New York. Where's the tail? Well, I hadn't thought you would be so stupid that you would need me to draw a tail. Every week he has a go at me how thick I am. Suddenly I'm not stupid enough. Okay, right. Frosty the snowman. No. But you've got the snowman bit right. The snowman. No. Snowman. Mm, not, n not necessarily. It's a certain kind of snow person, really. What am I drawing on its chest, Mike? Arrows. <sighs> no. Snowmen have committed a crime, so have been sent down. No. No, it's not. Is this a famous phrase? No, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. It's just a it's just a thing. Snowmen, but what kind of snowmen are they? Snow nipples. No, no, it's not. It's not Mike. It's not. It's uh, it's a group of gay snowmen. Well, there's two then. That's not a group. Next one. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Grab bags. No. You drunken out Thelma. No. You might go and see them in a production. Stripper? Nope. I think Christmas time, Mike. A Christmas stripper? No. Are you sure you're giving them a pearl necklace? Oh no. It's not. You've already told me it's not a stripper. Oh, yes. It. it is. Which way is it? Is it or is it not? What? A stripper. No! Well, you put, oh, no, it isn't, and then, oh, yes, it is. And she said, oh, God, 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 give me strength. She said, oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Famous, it's a character in a very famous thing that happens at Christmas time. It's fun to make fun of people that, you know, can't make up their minds. It's indecisive. I'm taking that present back. Decided. You don't deserve Eileen. Don't! You rip her out of that, that container. Mike! Yes? I'm just stroking her beautiful hair. If you if you do, oh. then... then She's so happy that I've given her hair a little stroke. Pop a lid back on. You know what it is? Come on. Is it what? Sorry? This, what I'm drawing. No, I don't. It's a pantomime dame. Oh, it's a you pantomime. dullard. Oh, okay. Should, Do we think we... we've finished? Yes, I think we have, have we? I can't do that, Eileen. That's illegal. Oh, in my mouth. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, well, after this break, it's time to get our Christmas craft on. Stick around. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time we finish off the bottle of creme de month while Aunt Gladys has a snowball. I don't mean the drink. As we go to Lee for Crafty Queens. You've joined me in my, my winter lodge, Mike. It's mm. beautiful, isn't it? Yes. It is. We're going to make it even more beautiful by doing a beautiful Christmas craft. Mm -hmm. What is more Christmassy than an angel, Mike? Getting blackout drunk and waking up in a I field know. of snow. We can't recreate that in the studio, so we're going to make Challenge it accepted. Instead. Go for it. Nice. So, in front of you, you have some face masks. I do. They're like, they're like the thing that we couldn't do without, aren't they, these things now? Yeah. These, these are the, the joy and bane of my life. Everywhere. So, but we're going to make an angel. We're going to make an angle. Look, I've already made one like Blue Peter did. Oh, I've met, I've already prepared one earlier. Oh, yeah, so you have. Look at that. So, uh, how to create that? What you're going to do is you can take one of your masks, your face masks. Yep. Yeah? I've and you're going to snip off each end that's got the string on it, the bit that goes over so your ears. So, I'm going to put the string off, yeah? Okay, and then when you've done that, just stretch, just stretch out the, the fabric of the mask. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you've got a little, you've got a roll of toilet roll there, haven't you? I do. You want just one sheet. One sheet. One sheet, and you're going to roll that up into like a, a a circle or a ball shape. A circle or a ball shape. Yeah, like a, around a sphere. Or a ball. Then. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to place that mm -hmm. in the centre of that piece of face mask that you've just cut out, and then uh -huh. you're going to like wrap it. Because you're going to make that's this is going to be the angel's head. So once you've got okay. it like that, mm -hmm. you're going to take what, a bit of your string, the bit of the string that you cut off, uh -huh. and tie that round the base bit of the head shape that you've just made I very tightly. Because uh, now we've just made a little ghost. Woo! But it's the wrong time of year, Mike. No, no, no. Um, Halloween. It's the right time of year for ghosts. <laughs> um, Scrooge was visited by three ghosts. And then what you're going to do is the kind of ghosty bit, the, the floaty bit around the bottom, you want to trim off. Now, you don't want to cut through the string that you've tied the head on with, but you just want to kind of cut off as much as you possibly can. Okay. To make like a little flat base. 
but a very wasteful one. Okay, so now you've just got a little, a little decap a decapitated head. A little decapitated, 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 decapitated angel head. Okay, so set that aside because we're going to need that again in a minute. All right, get another one of your um, masks. Uh huh. Repeat the same thing that you did, as in chopping the string off. Okay. Chopping okay. off my ends. Just like me to. Get a bit of the string ready because you're going to need that in a minute for the next bit. Okay. And then what you're going to do mm -hmm. is that way, so horizontally this way. Mm -hmm. You're not looking, Mike. I am looking. Okay. Um, you're going to make like a fan. So you're going to like fold it one way, turn so it over. In the fold... opposite direction to the existing pleats. Yeah. Fold it the other. So now, these masks have got a little metal thing uh -huh. that kind of bends over your nose. That's fine because that actually helps. Oh, okay. So I don't want to. I don't want to poke that out. No, don't keep that in. Okay. Okay. When you've done that, you've got it in a, in a line like that. Oh, yeah, Rush. I'll take my time then. Okay. Okay. Now fold that in half. Okay. So the ends meet like that. And you've got kind of like a little mini fan. Yeah. What you're going to do in where are you folded it in half? Yeah. Put some string through. And you're going to tie it in half, because these are going to be its wings. Can you see what we're doing, Mike? Questioning sanities. Tie it tight. Yep, it's tight. Knot in it. Mm -hmm. it's got Trim knotted. off the excess string. Set those aside, because that's going to be Sorry. your angel's wings. Are you sure it's not just a bow tie? It that's could be science, a bow tie. That is. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Okay, right, so those are going to be now, so now we're going to make its body. So get your third mask. Uh-huh. I'll do the same. Chop the stringy bits off. Do you remember when we first started to have to wear masks out and about in public? Yeah. And we had, we made them out of socks. We did. Lockdown. And now we've come full circle to make <laughs> out of masks. I know. Ma into masks. So, yeah. It's a circle of life. And it moves us all. It's a circle I'm available for musicals. Um, so that, so this is going to be its body. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing, as in away from the stripes, that way it's folded, mm -hmm. backwards and forwards. Do, do, do. Now this would look lovely on your Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. um, if you, you could make a number of them and hang them from, say, like your your window. I've done, right, I've got, I've done that now. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of like fluff them open a little bit <laughs> and bend it <laughs> like that. Uh -huh. So that's going to be its body. So what you need to do is, is put a little tiny blob of glue in the centre of your, like your bow tie. Okay. Just to stick it together. Because you don't want a wide open angel gown. Well, you speak for yourself. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is that these face masks are um, made of very lightweight polystyrene or plastic. Well, I've managed Which to is do melting it. in the glue. I've managed to do it, Mike. I'm not going to say anything else. Okay, done that. Uh huh. Now, what you're going to do is get your wings and in the centre again, put a blob of glue and then stick that onto the top, kind of like where your body would be. Bearing in mind, hot glue, very hot. Okay. A blob of glue that then dissolves through my angel. Don't chitter chatter, just get on with it. Do you, in the top of your Christmas tree, what do you have? Do you have something? Do you have an angel? Do you have a star? Do you have a huge dildo covered in glitter? Well, I have an angel. Is there a reason you're going so slow, Mike? Because, you know. Right, done. Okay, right, so now you're going to attach the head. So in the middle, <laughs> where your wings are at the top, yep. a lot more glitter. Blob more glue. Uh huh. And stick your head on. Okay. What are you doing? It's Irene. Mike! She's just 
She wants to be involved, so she just wants to be here so she can see. She's a toffee crisp, for God's sake. She's had enough. She's been through enough. She just wants to stay in the jar and be, be relaxed in the and jar. peaceful. Without your sausage fingers prodding her every few seconds. She's in the jar. Now, the problem is I've just I've glued my angel to the, the board, so it's not worked. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, you've assembled it now. It's now assembled. Okay, right, lay it flat on your on your mask. Uh, sorry, on your desk. Uh-huh. Now you've got next to you some little little tubes. Uh-huh. I've got paint on the, in them. Okay. And what you're gonna just give you a little whatever colour you choose. I'm gonna go for purple. Um, give it a little bit of a shake. And then you're not covering the whole of the angel um with paint. You're just kind of giving it like an ombre edge effect. So just kind of just spray. Whatever your whatever your um, color scheme is. Uh huh. Yeah. Now you should also have a tiny little bit of gold gemstone. Uh huh. That is going to be its crown. So bob a little bit of glue on. Now do be careful with this because it's <laughs> very hot. Just pop it round the head of your angle. <laughs> Okay. Have you eaten, Eileen? Have you have so I'm you just eaten? putting this crown on this here? Just wait till I come over there. Crown on the head. Right, so you've you've kind of like decorated it. Okay. Get a little bit of you you know your bit spare bit of string from uh -huh. one of your ears. Yeah. Bits. S snip that off. Mm -hmm. And on the back of the head, where you're not gonna show it, you just gl glue that into place. Do a loop. Okay. And glue that. Oh, 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 that is beautiful. Hold it up and sit. Oh, 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 shame. Mine's are falling. In. Oh, everything's falling down. Cry. Mike's ruined Christmas, everyone. Um. Anyway, as I always say, if you can't be a Christmas crafty queen. Get some pain. No, that's the other way around. <laughs>